Jack Welch. Now, obviously, hailed as one of the greatest CEOs for such a long time. And I think there's there's been a bit of a revisionist sort of argument, you know, seeing how um, G has is, is, is suffered really um, since since he left and some of the things that he's, he's said some, well, frankly, some some slightly outrageous things, hasn't he? But um, so, um, yeah, what, what's your what's your thoughts? Is, is um, Jack Welch a great business leader? Okay, so I, I didn't actually know who that was when it came up. I actually thought it was uh, okay. Giuliani. And I was like, he looks odd. <laughs> like I said, he's <laughs> holiday. So <laughs> he's giving me some Dracula vibes, so I wouldn't really know. <laughs> okay, okay. Peter, Julia, do you know Jack Welch? Uh, so I, I think one of the biggest factors in terms of leadership ability is what happens after you're not there. Yeah. And I, and I think it, you can't escape that situation. Now, you could argue, was it just a bad decision on successor or was it more endemic than that? He'd actually worked very hard to try and create leaders and to empower people. So there are a lot of things that he did that we would really be supportive of, but something happened. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't know what. Well, I think, I mean, uh, the, the, the strategy I think that he had was, uh, I think, kind of... Um, they didn't really consolidate into one area so i think i don't think that really helps it didn't really add to what they were doing so i think strategically some people had some issues with that but the share price when he was there you know the, the, the company was doing fantastically well but then he said um he said some strange things really afterwards but i think that the thing with him is he's probably the, the biggest performance driver ceo and business leader that probably you come across the we, we talked in the last show a lot about force ranking and things that some of the the business practices that are you know very that have come from him and, and and his ideas and the things that yeah that that he very much championed um during his uh yeah during his career really so um yeah that's why i thought i'd put him in there because he's yeah, it's it's hard to really know. Julia, do you have a do, do you know much about him? If, yeah, if, do you have think, an opinion on that? Yeah, I think during during his time, probably his his leadership style worked. Um, I don't know if it would work necessarily today, especially with all the changes that Ilona already mentioned with digital and yeah. everything. Um, I think though, um, like Peter said, I think he did a lot, a lot for the leadership development. He at least tried. Yeah. So I think he, he created a whole like internal university what was yeah it he did yeah Hill or, or something like this um so he did a lot there and if i'm not mistaken i i read something about him where he also he, he also tried to hire people not based on you know are they coming from an ivy league or have they have this degree but you know also giving people um a chance who um yeah who, who just showed that they're really willing um to do things so i like this kind of like not being so um yeah this elite focus and and and, mm. and really having a broader perspective because you know we have diverse backgrounds and you don't know you don't know the story of someone so if you just yeah. put them prematurely into boxes uh, so i think there, there are a few things that i know when i read about him or um, did some case studies that that i really liked but again i don't know if this leadership style um would work nowadays because it's very centered as mm -hmm. peter said onto him. 